Welcome everyone to GamerMail. Today, you're going to want to update your drivers. RX 7000 GPUs are unbelievable. Ryzen 7000 is getting how many cores? And Nvidia has officially given up. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, if you haven't updated your drivers recently, you might want to, as Intel just announced a slew of vulnerabilities found in their older Wi-Fi and Bluetooth drivers. Yep, more vulnerabilities. Starting things off, we have the Wi-Fi issues, which were announced in two advisories from Intel, both of which are rated with a high severity rating and they affect Intel Wireless, AMT Wireless, and killer Wi-Fi products. As PC Gamer points out, that last one even affects some AMD motherboards. Luckily, for an attacker to use the vulnerability, they need to be on the same local network as you, so the issue would mostly affect those who bring their laptops to public places and things like that. The Bluetooth the vulnerability only gets a medium severity rating, so it's not as bad, but still. There's even a ton more vulnerabilities, but most of those seem to affect servers instead of regular PCs. Either way, this is a big reminder to ensure you keep your drivers up to date, as new exploits and vulnerabilities are found and patched frequently. Of course, the biggest issue is when there's a problem in the actual hardware itself. Now, if you haven't realized, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Luckily, Newegg has some great deals for the tech lover in your life, or just for yourself, from deals on PSUs, CPUs, memory, storage, and more. Pretty much anything PC hardware enthusiasts will love. They even have some great deals on laptops, like this Gigabyte G5 with a 3060 is 200 bucks off after rebate. And if that special someone loves pizza, Newegg is offering a free $5 gift card to Domino's when you purchase a $25 Domino's gift card. That's five bucks free for what you'd probably spend anyway. If you're interested, I'll have affiliate links down in the description below. They don't cost you anything more and they help the channel out. Next up for today, AMD's next-gen RX 7000 GPUs are set to pack a serious punch. In a recent tweet from known leaker Graymon55, he actually claims that Navi 33, which would be the GPU that makes up AMD's RX 7700 XT, can in fact beat their RX 6900 XT, meaning next-gen's mid-range is set to beat current-gen's high-end GPUs. Of course, given the 7900 XT and 7800 XT are rumored to use a multi-chip module design, AMD's next-gen GPUs are set to come with a massive performance jump. Not only that, but he claims that Navi 33 is set to be released first, which is interesting given the rumors claiming AMD is planning to release a refreshed RX 6950 XT soon. We'll have to see how it compares to the 7700 XT because it would likely be significantly cheaper, hopefully. Don't forget that while an MCM GPU does help with yield rates, rumors are pointing to Navi 31 effectively being two pretty big GPUs slapped together. Of course, it's 5 nanometers and the architecture is significantly different than current gen, so it's tough to say what the price would be, but still. RX 7000 could be pretty expensive, but also really powerful. Next up, we know that AMD's Ryzen 7000 series of CPUs are set for release in the second half of this year, but we haven't heard too much about the specs. That is, until now. In a recent video from Red Gaming Tech, he goes over what three different sources claim AMD's plans are for their next-gen CPUs, specifically when it comes to core count. And this is important, because for quite a while now, AMD's had a clear lead over Intel when it comes to multi-threaded workloads. Obviously, they have Threadripper, but even in their main streamline, AMD goes all the way up to 16 cores. And until 12th gen, Intel didn't really have anything to compete. And sure, the 12900K doesn't always win in heavily threaded workloads, but it's not far off. Especially Especially with its price. Well, according to Red Gaming Tech's first and third sources, AMD could be releasing Ryzen 7000 with CPUs that go up to an even higher than 24 cores. You can see that the first source claims that they're investigating core counts at 24 plus, and their third source claims that the core count remains at 16, but AMD is doing internal tests of higher than 24 cores. Now, the second source claims they will remain the same until Zen 5, so while it may not happen, it sounds like AMD is at least looking into the possibility, likely as a potential response to Intel's next-gen Raptor Lake CPUs. Basically, while AMD probably won't announce anything over 16 cores at first, we could see a Ryzen 7000 CPU later on with 24 or even more cores. Fingers crossed.
And lastly for today, if you've been following the channel, you know that I covered a recent story from Bloomberg that claimed Nvidia may be planning to give up on their acquisition of ARM. Well, it's officially happened. Nvidia announced the end of their acquisition plans. In a press release by the company, it states, quote, The parties agreed to terminate the agreement because of significant regulatory challenges preventing the consummation of the transaction, despite good faith efforts by the parties. Of course, that last part is pretty laughable given Nvidia has a big incentive to do things like hold back tech from competitors, stop licensing ARM, etc. I mean, sure, they seem to claim they wouldn't, but that's tough to believe. Either way, the deal has been broken, and according to this, ARM is now planning to go public. The question now is what Nvidia plans to do with their recently announced expansion in Israel for Nvidia CPUs. Given that wasn't too long ago, Nvidia may have already known that the ARM deal was dead, and that means they could still plan to launch CPUs, likely still based on ARM given they do still retain a 20-year ARM license for the $1.25 billion that Nvidia lost from the deal. That or they could even be working on their own CPU micro architecture. Of course, something like that would be a massive undertaking, even for Nvidia. Either way, the deal is over, so you can rest easy knowing that Nvidia will not, in fact, take over the world. So while that does it for today, what do you think about the Nvidia deal falling through? And are you excited for AMD's next-gen GPUs and CPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!